This is the dream of our visionary Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. With a vision to transform 100 cities of India into smart cities, he launched the Smart City Mission on the 25th of June 2015. And helping him realize his dream for the cities of Gujarat is a dynamic leader, Anandi Ben Patel. She believes that smart cities should be simple, secured and supportive to the needs of the vulnerable. 600 years old historical city Ahmedabad is now ready to be future ready. And inching closer towards becoming a smart city in many ways. If being a smart city means ease of service delivery, then Ahmedabad is becoming smarter by introducing common card payment system and trip-free birth records. Common card payment will allow citizens to enjoy the benefits of using a single card for every payment needs in the city and provide a hassle-free ride of BRTS, AMTS and Metro train and even payment for municipal taxes and utilities. AMC is all set to switch over from traditional manual birth registration to online web-based integrated system which will allow hospitals to push birth registration record directly to the AMC e-governance system annually, which will reduce queue time from weeks to minutes. If being a smart city means caring for its new generations, the Ahmedabad is doing that with smart card-based immunization tracking system. The system will facilitate every pediatrician in the city to register the dose of vaccination given to the child with a mobile app resulting in better and more accurate health-related data. If being a smart city means going greener, then Ahmedabad is doing it with its renewable energy projects and by improving efficiency of service delivery through SCADA systems. Solar rooftops and wind turbine will push AMC's green and clean energy initiative. SCADA technology will enable AMC to monitor and control the functioning as well as quality of water supply and sewerage systems and provide real-time information to the citizens. If being a smart city means being proactive in communicating with the citizens, then Ahmedabad is doing that with its transparent systems for putting the KPIs in public domain. On a mission mode implementation, a common command and control center with 1000 kilometers of optical fiber network will function as the single window for evaluating the efficiency of various systems. Helping Ahmedabad becoming cleaner, AMC has set up Common Effluent Treatment Plant, CETP, and Dye Effluent Treatment Plant, DETP, for processing and treating effluent generated by various industrial houses and dyeing units. These new indigenous technologies will help Ahmedabad address the problem of polluted water. If being a smart city means improving the quality of life for the weakest section of society, then Ahmedabad is doing its largest in C2 slum rehabilitation project of 7,235 houses in the area based development initiative in the smart city mission. Moving towards open data and open government, AMC, in conjunction with Baba Atomic Research Center, has found the best affordable effluent treatment and recycling solutions for dyeing industry at less than 4 pesa per liter. The city will reduce water pollution and save livelihoods. Sludge hygienization plant with radiation technology and enrichment with plant growth promoter bacteria is a step towards water sustainability. AMC has shown that the lives of the slum dwellers can be improved by providing them with pakka houses using the public-private partnership model. At the same time, creating open spaces for the community. The Wadaj slum redevelopment will not only create better houses for the citizens, but also create the largest garden in the city spanning 30 acres. And many such projects are taking shapes. A historical city is ready to make history again with open data and open government approach. And the bug, a future-ready smart city.